Hey friends, it is me Stace. For today's video, we are making a DIY texture paste and we're going to compare that to the Diamond Press brand of texture paste. I want to mention that this video is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So what I have here are two sheets of paper and on that I have two pieces of white cardstock that I taped down. These both measure four by five and a quarter and I have one here. We're going to set that one aside and bring in some scrap paper. So for the DIY texture paste, you want to get a little bowl and you need baby powder. Now, if you don't want to use a baby powder, you could probably just use a talc powder if you don't like the smell of the baby powder. So I'm going to pop that lid off, and it calls for a quarter cup of baby powder. So let's get our quarter cup in there. Okay, and a little bit more. There we go. We're going to pour that into our little container here. In addition to that, you're going to need some glue and some paint. So I'm just using Elmer's school glue. Any white glue or any school glue is fine. You don't want to use like an art glitter glue here or a barely art glue. Just use school glue. This is one tablespoon of the school glue. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and now we're going to need one tablespoon of acrylic paint. Okay, let's get that in there. Now I made this recipe before exactly as I'm doing it here with the one to one ratio as far as the glue and paint and the quarter cup of baby powder. And I did find that it was too thick. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'll show you with you how I adjust it. So when you start to mix this, you want to go slow because that baby powder is very, very fine. Uh, think of it like powdered sugar in a mixer. You want to just start off slow, kind of get it covered, and then you can go a little bit faster. But this recipe here, the unaltered version, is going to be extremely thick. Now, if you like a thick texture paste, you're going to love this one. I find it too thick, though, to where it's not spreadable. So I'm going to just keep on mixing this up kind of going under the bottom and folding it over. And you're gonna see it becomes very dough-like. It almost looks like a pizza dough or a bread dough. So I'm kind of folding and pushing just to get all that glue into that powder. And it does help to work in a bigger, a bigger bowl like this, you have room to really get under there. I can still see I have some powder at the bottom. I'm just pushing that dough, I guess, down to the bottom to make contact with that powder that we have down there. Okay, so we have pretty much all the powder so you can see how thick that is. There's no way you're going to be able to spread that onto a stencil. So we're going to adjust that. So to adjust it, you're going to add in another half tablespoon of the glue. And again, any school glue is fine. So there's our half a tablespoon of additional glue. And then we're going to do a half a tablespoon of the paint as well. So the recipe now is a quarter cup of baby powder and one and a half tablespoons each of this of the glue and the paint. And I found by doing this we're not we're not losing any of the texture but we're making it much more spreadable. Okay, so you just kind of get that in there. You really gotta work it now. But you can see it's a little bit it's still thick but a little bit more pliable to where we can spread it. Just want to get all that paint and glue incorporated into that powder. Okay, so that's that. That's what it looks like now as far as the consistency. It's still very thick, um, but nowhere near as bad as it was. Okay, so we're going to set that aside, clean this up, and we're going to have our pieces here. So I'm going to use 
two stencils. This one is from Diamond Press. We're going to put that one left. This one is a new one I just purchased off Amazon. All right, so what I'm going to do is just clear my space and grab some washi tape to tape the stencils down. So we're going to try it side by side, then we're also going to tint it. We're going to tint each one of them. So I have this one here. I'm going to tape that down. And then this one here. Tape that one down. I'm going to do the same for this one. This is a really pretty stencil. It's stars in different, of different sizes. So I'm going to kind of rearrange this. Okay. Alrighty. So it's just nice and flush. I'm going to take that down. And over here, I just have a piece of acetate, if you can see that right here, that I'm going to go and put my paint on. All right, or our texture paste on. So we're going to go ahead and grab some of this first. You can see it's very, very stringy. Okay, that should be enough. And we're going to do the same with the, the dino press. Actually, the dino press I'm just going to put on here. All right, so let's go ahead. On the left hand side, we're going to do dino press. Take that off of there. Okay. This is almost gone. spread this on here. You see this spreads very nicely. It's very, very thin. It has a good consistency to it. I'm just spreading it out to get rid of the lines, putting it all back in my jar. Okay, I'm going to lift that one up. stencil there, the tape. There we go. Alrighty, and now we're going to do, I'm going to wipe this off with a baby wipe. Okay, now we're going to go with this one, our, our homemade version. Again, it's still very thick. I want to spread this out. I'm trying to get an even layer with this. I'm guessing you could probably also use regular household spackle, you know, like joint compound. Okay, all right, now again, I'm just going to go over it, make sure it's all even, and we don't have them lines from my pellet knife. Okay, that's going to lift this one up. bring them up to you side by side once I pick them up here so you can see. So this is the homemade one. Okay, if you can see that. Very, very pretty. It has a nice texture to it. Okay, so we're going to set that one over here to my side. Let it dry. And let's go ahead and grab this one. This was the Diamond Press one. I will say this one feels, I mean, it's also because this is a full a fuller stencil, this one feels wetter. All right, let's bring in our other piece of paper. All right, now we're going to take our dime press. And I, like I said, I'm just about out of this. I play with this stuff so much. I really do enjoy this product. So I'm going to just stick some over here as much as I can get out of that jar. Now, if you have this kit, you know, by all means, when you're done with your homemade version, clean this jar out and put your homemade version in here, right? So you always have it. All right, we're going to tint this one now with some acrylic paint to see how well this does tinted. Now, of course, when you make this, we made it with white acrylic paint. Um, you can, of course, make it, an, um, rather than adding a white acrylic paint, you can add whatever um, color you like, okay? So I'm just going to do a little squirt here and a little squirt there. 
Okay, I'm going to find my stencils. All right, so we're going to do, which one did I want to do? Okay, here. This diamond press floral one, very pretty, and then this floral one. And again, I'm going to move out of the way and tape these down. And let's go ahead and mix up the diamond press one. You can see just by adding that little bit of acrylic paint to it, it definitely makes it more runnier. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. Actually, I wanna see if I can clean off my spatula a little bit. I have some white on there. There we go. Just mix it in. All right, we're gonna take this. On the left hand side. And spread it. I didn't take this stencil down all that great. We may not have enough to finish this one. Maybe, it'll be close. Okay, so a thin layer. I got all that covered and I'm just going to take it and go over it to remove the lines from my knife. And we're going to pick this up. That is really, really pretty. Really pretty. I'm leaving that there. Now we're going to go ahead and clean this off with a baby wipe and then go in here and mix our homemade one. Let me move this out of the way. Now this was way too much. I needed probably half of this amount. So we're going to mix that up, and again, by adding more acrylic paint to it, this is becoming more pliable as well. It's still very, very thick, way thicker than the Diamond Press one was. Okay, it's going to take this and put it on this one over here. Okay, we're going to spread it. Again, you can see how thick it is. Trying to push down into the stencil and then smoothing it out. This is like frosting, that's the consistency of it. All right, so, again, just take your knife or whatever you're using to kind of even it out a little bit. Don't take the texture off, you want to leave that on there. Just spread it out a little bit. Okay, let's take this one and pick this one up. That is really thick. All right, now let me show you this one. This is the diamond press one. Oh, I did smudge it toward the top. Okay, there's the diamond press one. That was tinted. I did smudge it in a few areas, but that's okay. I can always trim it down and use it for something else. Okay, so we have that one there. Very, very pretty. Then we have this one here. I should have used a tighter stencil, one that was closer together. Okay, there's that one there. That pretty. And you can see, hopefully you can see the texture there. So what I'm gonna do now is clean up my mess and my space, go ahead and wash all of my stencils. You wanna make sure you're washing your stencils pretty quickly after you're using that texture paste. You don't wanna have it be stuck on there. Uh, but I, when, when I did it before, I left it overnight by accident and I soaked it in hot water and it came right off. But you wanna have, you know, water. So we're gonna leave these here. Okay, let me take this one. Let me take the tape off the back of that one. Okay, and then these ones here. And what I'm gonna do is fan these dry. Okay, so we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna let them air dry a little bit. Then I'll just take my little fan. I have a little fan over here. I'm just gonna fan these dry and I'll come back when these are dried and we'll see the texture side by side, okay? Don't forget, this stuff here, go ahead and put that in a mason jar with a lid so you have that. I'm actually gonna, gonna take this and put it right in this jar anyway because this is empty, all right? So I'll see you guys in a few minutes once everything is dried and cleaned up. All right, we are back. It's been about an hour of letting these sit here and air drying. I also took my fan just to kind of help the drying process. They're not fully dry, but I think for the most part, they're okay. 
So I'm going to share with you each one up close, then we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the first one, DIY, or this is the Diamond Press Texture Paste, right out of the jar. Hopefully the camera you can see the dimension on that. It's nice and smooth, has the texture and the dimension to it. This is the DIY Texture Paste with the stars. Again, the same smoothness, same depth of texture on that one. Okay, this one we Diamond Press. We added some blue acrylic paint too. That's a very pretty design. See the texture there and the dimension. Then we have the DIY texture paste that we also added the same color blue acrylic paint too. And again, it has that nice texture to it. All right, so side by side, let's go here and here. Okay, so this is without adding any coloring. Diamond press is here. The DIY texture paste is there. I can't see how well you're seeing that, but hopefully the camera can pick up the dimension. Okay, and then side by side with the ones we tinted. Diamond press, DIY. I mean, looking at them both up close, I can't tell a difference. The smoothness is there, the depth is there, the texture is there. It feels just like this one does. In fact, this one might be a tad bit higher as far as the texture. This one does smell like baby powder, so does this one. Um, but I'm sure that'll probably go away after a little while. But like I said, if you don't want to use baby powder, you can certainly use a talc powder. All right, so a little side note here. So we have Diamond Press and our DIY. You can see the DIY papers are warpy. So I guess they're more wetter than this one is. Not really that big of a deal letting them air dry like this because I can easily just glue that onto a card. However, you do not want to take a heat tool to this to kind of help the drying process because you'll find out it's going to curl. This is what I made the other day. Can you see the curl there? Okay, this is the same DIY texture paste. Okay, you can see the texture there, very, very pretty, very smooth. There's no roughness or grit to it, but it does curl really badly. This is what I also made that I did not add any coloring to. And again, that one also curls really bad. So don't use a heat tool. Let them air dry like this or use a fan. Or, you know, you can kind of go like that just to kind of help them along a little bit. And now this one I made, this is the DIY texture paste as well. But rather than, with the recipe, rather than using white acrylic paint, I used yellow acrylic paint. So the whole texture paste was yellow. You can see the, you can see the texture there, the dimension is very smooth. It's not flaking off. It's, it's uh, pliable, it's not chipping away, it's not cracking. And then this one, I did like this first out of the jar, letting it dry. Then I took my ink with a, with a sponge to kind of add color there. So you can add color to it a few ways, but you can see again, it's very pliable, it's not cracking, it's not chipping off. And that one no longer smells like baby powder. So the baby powder smell will go away after a little while. So once you're done making it, I went ahead and put mine, the DIY texture base inside my diamond press texture paste jar because this was empty. Okay, so I have it in there. So again, you can leave it being white and then you can tint it, just take a little bit out and make it be whatever color you like. So I think it's a pretty darn close comparison. Like I, I can't tell the difference. If I showed my husband, he would have no idea um, what the difference is. They're, they both have the same texture. Again, this one might be a little bit higher as far as that one, but I think these two, they're, they're pretty close as far as the amount of the depth of the dimension, pretty close. All right, my friends, there you have it, DIY texture paste. It actually works, and it works pretty darn good. Uh, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.